Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have something uh, nice. And uh, I already promised you this a while ago when I was building or uh, rearranging the lap a little bit and uh, building my 19 inch rack there. I already gave a little preview and it's the, the Fluke uh, digital multimeter. It's the 8800, <coughs> 80, 8810 to be precise. And uh, I think the difference between the 88 and the 8810 was not that big. Uh, the thing is with these multimeters that um, it actually, uh, if it has no options, it only comes with the DC voltage. And then you have an option for the AC voltage. And then you have an option for the ohms, for the resistance. And I think the tiny, tiny difference, because the modules are uh, interchangeable, uh, is that the ohms module, I think in the 8800, to be completely isolated, it had batteries. And the module that comes, if it comes with it, with the 8810, it was without, but I just uh, wired it a little, a little bit smarter. Um, that's it. Let, let's have a closer look. So here it is from the front. Uh, this one does not have modules, and that's why they lock the switches. So you really cannot push. If you push harder, you probably break it. So it only has the DC fault option. So I cannot show you the, the story about the ohms, ohms module. Uh, yeah. According to the seller, it is still working fine. So let's try that. Well, again, we need to do some cleaning. So that's nice, otherwise it would be a very boring video. And as you can see on the top, also it has been used. It is a normal power plug for Europe, so that is good. The seal is broken. Let's see the options. Maybe I can zoom in a bit and it's less shaky. Just a second. Okay, let's see what we have in options. Uh, oh, it is internally switched for 110, which seems weird to me because this is actually the European version. Here it also says 110. So before I switch it on, I still want to have a look inside. And there is no digital output, no ohms converter, averaging AC converter, RMS AC converter digital multimeter interface now that is all not here so no extra options so only dc pulse uh, let's open i like to see if it's really switched to uh, 230. well usually with the 8000 series like the uh, yeah the really the 8000 and the 8010 they uh, have a central screw in the middle and here yeah, it is just two in the back. It feels kind of heavy, so I'm not sure that maybe it has batteries or not, that I'm not sure. But the main thing is I like to check that it is indeed wired correctly. No. Not much to see here. It does look very nice still. I don't see any modifications. These are wires, but they, they're supposed to be there. It does look good. No burning. Cool. The inside is a lot cleaner. Offset, warning input voltage. That is done here. Oh, yeah. The inside, 
it's a little bit hard to see, but here in the bottom, there is a switch, and that is indeed set to 230. So that is good. I will zoom in a bit more. On that. Okay, here you can see better. Here is the switch, and it is set to 230. You can see the letters, I think. But uh, also the inside, in the front, it doesn't look that bad at all. Everything nicely on sockets. Then I wonder if you have those extra modules where they go, although I see a lot of pins here. So maybe it sticks in these pins here. We stick the module. Oh yeah, and here is also pins. So there is also a module here. Okay. The big relay at the back there. Let's see if it still works. Let's power it on. Now let's connect uh, the power. Some cables here. I will just leave it open as it is. DC folds, well, there are now many other choices. Switch it on. It does. Oh, it has a lot of digits. Cool. It says now minus six volts. Yeah, it's very high impedance probably. So let's short it. Yes, uh, because all the, these uh, meters are so high impedance that they start floating and then the voltage just goes up, 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 up. And you want to have your high impedance because if you're measuring in a circuit, because of the high impedance, it doesn't affect the circuit itself. And that's, of course, exactly what you want. But the downside is that it's not connected, that it slowly goes up, 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 up because it starts to float. Let's see if it's uh, any good still. My famous reference. Well, we can only measure voltage because uh, there is not more. No more options than that. Look at that. Should be two, four, nine, eight nine well we just switch it on so uh, it can still be going up and it is <laughs> that is exactly what it should be five volts look at this five volts it is 7.5 10 volts, yeah, 10, 0, 0, 0, 7, <laughs> this is exactly what it should be, again, uh, not much adjusting to do, I'm just gonna clean it a bit, this was a great find, Before, with the cleaning, usually I just want to take off the front first, and uh, you can see there is a lot of dust and it is just, well, it's old now, it, of course it, it gets some dust. Um, so I will remove the front because then we can a lot more easy clean all the, the switches. So I have two screws here, two screws here, uh, two screws here. And it seems that these uh, posts are connected to the front but there are just some nuts here in the back so i will just start slowly what i do usually do is not get the service manual because uh, usually i just try and uh, there is not too much to adjust as we saw because it was already good 
and uh, just do step by step that you remember where the screws went or just lay them in a spot that you remember so these came from this side this comes from this side oh. right to take those out and then if you like you can just leave them here but i know they are the same so for me it's okay and then we just slowly try to get the front off and uh, that's immediately the whole front as i see now and i was hoping i could just take the plastic out because i don't want to take the whole switching unit now uh, let's see now that works it looks kind of symmetrical doesn't it no. does not no. this is that front Okay, you can take uh, really the whole thing out of. Yeah, but it's not what I want. Mm. Now I will make a picture of that. Well, it seems you need to loosen this plug and this plug, and it just is in kind of IC sockets. And then we have a little, a little two wires here. Take those out, try to keep them in the position. And then we have here a ground wire. But we can do that later. And then we need to, I think, tilt it forward because the switches just go in here. So if we tilt it forward, let's have a look here. And then we can do the little ground wire. Yes, there we have the front. And it's going to be a bit tricky with the power switch because there is a little fork here and that fork goes in this little ball here so but that's a problem for later okay and i just wanted to clean this very well so I'm still going to open a lot more. I have this little set now because before I did it not uh, really proper. Mm. It is new, so I need to f find out how I even unlock the things. How does this work? I need to cut this probably. Yeah. Let's get the correct size. This is the English sizes in here, it's probably 
10 or something. What is this? Look like the correct one. Uh, it's a 7. A little bit more. No, it's an 8. Yes, it is an 8. Let me have a little extension. Okay, little extension, and this is a lot nicer than uh, using your pliers and, and maybe you break something. Now you can just re That's it. Perfect. Okay, I managed to put it all back together again. I was a little bit fighting with the power switch, but in the end, uh, it all uh, worked. And uh, well, if we have a close look, it is again almost as new. And uh, I also managed to clean the top that I just did with uh, a lot of IPA, but now it is just spotless. And I'm amazed about the accuracy. After so many years, uh, I did find a calibration sticker and it said 89. And well, they didn't calibrate it, so it said not calibrated 89. So at least this was checked that it was not calibrated. So, but I didn't find the sticker when it was. But uh, yeah, here, yeah. look at this. 10, 0, 0, 0. Exactly what it should be. Perfect. And uh, also, I managed to wait on the switch it off. The, even on the binding post, maybe if I zoom in here. They are also very shiny now, and I just did that with the uh, breast cleaner. Then uh, you just get back uh, the shine a little bit more. And uh, well, that uh, works. So that's it, the, the Fluke 8810A. And uh, yeah, it only needed some cleaning. All the adjustments were already fine, so I didn't touch it. And uh, now I feel a lot better when it is in my stack there. Uh, because it was just sticking out one dirty machine, so uh, happy with the result. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you next time.